name is Galena. I work for Sizzix. I'm going to be demoing here our new paper leather as well as our ink sheets and kind of how they work with the embossing as well as the cutting factors of our machine. So right here I have a black piece of paper leather. This is fantastic because it's very fibrous. It's not like paper in the fact that it doesn't bend, so you have that leather quality, but you can cut it, emboss it, and work with it just like you do paper. So this is a really neat new material that Sizzix is launching. Here I also have my ink sheet. These are fantastic because instead of having to buy ink pads now, you have ink sheets. The ink doesn't transfer off, so you can actually use it without getting dirty. What I'm going to do is show you how to emboss it and then use it with the wafer thin dye. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here on my paper leather. I'm going to put this in between my embossing folder. The ink sheet is a pressure based system. It's going to sandwich in between our cutting pads just as I normally would. Tab two of my cutting plate. This here is actually our Big Shot Express. This is our new machine that's launching. It is electric. It no longer has to be manually cranked. It works the same way as our other ones. It's very quiet. It has a wonderful feature now that if you do accidentally overstuff it, it will stop the motor and then you won't actually have to worry about it breaking. The pinwheels too. Okay, so here is our ink sheet embossing. Normally you would get just this lovely emboss, which is very neat, but with your ink sheets, you're going to get a beautiful design that's going to catch all the elements of your embossing folder without the mess and then without the blurred ink that would get in between the embossing folder when you use it. One other way to use this ink sheet is with wafer thin dyes. This is a new concept, so instead of cutting it, you're going to actually allow the ink to transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my platform the same way I do with my wafer thin dye, but instead I'm going to use my transfer pad. This is a transfer pad that comes with the ink sheet. This allows it to transfer but not actually cut when you use your wafer thin dyes. So that's going to go down first. Then I'm going to grab another ink sheet. So I'm going to get a piece of white paper here so you can see. How about blue? Okay. So I'm going to put that down first, then I'm going to put down my material. I'm going to lay down my ink sheet like I normally would, and then I'm going to apply my wafer thin dye. This is going to then fully sandwich with our cutting pad, and we're going to run that through the machine. Okay, as you can see, the ink sheet's going to indent, but it's not going to cut it out. And what you're going to get is a beautiful trace design. So if you have any metal wafer thin words or greetings at home, you can now turn them into a stamp for the most part and use them on your material. Another really fun thing you do is actually use the negative of your ink sheet so you don't have to waste it. Okay, so if you were to run this through again, let's say on an embossing folder, you would get the negative space as opposed to the embossed image. So you're going to get both sides. So lots of different things you can do with them. They're a great market point and lots of customers can use them for a variety of different